question. I could tell you, it's been very reliable, durable, that sign is killing me. Oh my God. What's up, wild people? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Alexandria Denise, and I needed a trail cam mount. But like everything on planet Earth these days, which is crazy expensive, I had to MacGyver this again. Now I've actually been using this device for a few years now and it has been super reliable, super durable, and best of all, affordable. But I'm not the mastermind behind this witty contraption. In fact, I actually got this from another hunter on YouTube some years back, so if you know who you are, thank you for that. But these are the type of ideas that we need to continue to push in the hunting community to strengthen it and so these ideas don't get lost over time. Now I usually do this in the middle of my videos, but because I know that you're gonna take the meat and run, you scavengers. I need you to attack that like button and subscribe to the tribe for more self-sufficient content. Now, let's stop screwing around and get to it. First things first, here's what you'll need. You should have a total of eight pieces, but multiply the quantity based on the number of cameras you have. Prices will depend on the quality and where you buy them. If you run cameras year round, Stainless steel holds up against the elements without rusting as fast as other types of metal, but it may be a bit more pricey. To make the mount, take the 3 8 eye bolt, which will act as a base piece, then one 3 8 washer and slide it on. Now slide on the 5 16 eye screw. Slide on another washer, then the quarter inch eye bolt. This piece holds your trail camera. Add the last washer before finishing with the 3 8 wing nut. Lastly, take the quarter inch wing nut and place it upside down like this on the quarter inch eye bolt. If it came with the extra nut, great. Just make sure it's below the wing nut. These pieces will act as fasteners for your camera. You'll see how later. And in under a minute, you have a new trail cam mount that's adjustable. But wait! There's more! Now you'll want a dull as shine that could give away the position of your camera, especially if you're hunting public land. There are two ways you could do this. You can use electrical or camo tape to wrap the most notable parts, or what I do, which is spray paint it dull colors like black or dark green. You might want to do the same if your camera is a color that may stand out. Doing this isn't just for concealment from animals, but from people. Even if you are hunting private land, there's always that one person that sends you on edge. I had a spy point stolen on private land strapped to the tree, not camouflaged thinking no one would steal it. Well, someone did. Nothing is 100% safe, even this method, but it's about lowering the risk. It's also worth noting to only place inexpensive trail cameras on public land or ones you're okay with losing if it comes to that. Besides theft, other incidents may happen such as animal damage, a branch falling from the tree onto the camera, or the entire tree itself falling onto it. In most cases, maybe even a game warden confiscating it for whatever reason. Which I guess I should bring up to also check the laws in your state regarding the use of trail cams in addition to the particular public land you will be hunting. Some states have fair chase laws that prohibits the use of trail cams after a set date in the season. They may be taken for that reason too. If I can make a recommendation, don't sleep on the Tasco cams. I've been using them for some time and they still get me photos and videos good enough to collect data. I will put them out to survey spots a few weeks before opening. I use a spy point only for quick short term surveying. You'll want to choose a place your camera won't be affected by the sun's glare. There's a chance pictures will be flushed out during certain times of the day, like sunrise and sunset. Again, on private land, do what you want. On public land, do what's allowed. Since you can't screw into the tree, you can add an additional piece of hardware or just screw it into a wooden block. I personally like to find a piece of decaying wood strong enough to screw the mount into, then use the straps that came with my trail camera to fasten it onto the tree. I like this because it naturally blends with the environment. Put it up high using a climbing stick. Unless someone like Hagrid is walking through the woods, getting it at least six feet off the ground can help keep it from view or reach of others. 
naturally, our eyes gravitate downwards. So in order to spot it up high, average height people would have to be either far back to see it or be out actively looking for it. Set up your camera with the correct time, date, etc. and make sure the memory card is formatted for the camera with plenty of fresh battery life. Now, depending on the camera brand, the screw in points may be either at the bottom or the back of the camera. Both are doable, but I find it much easier to stick with trail cams that have the bottom screw in points for all around angling. With the back screw in, if aiming the camera downward, you may need to position it a bit higher in the tree to get the angle you want. Or if you can afford to go the extra mile, Amazon have these ball joint tips you can screw into the mount, then to the back of the camera for more flexible angles. I will leave a link in the description if interested. Once screwed in, the quarter inch wing nut can be used to fasten it and keep it secure. Or, if there are too many twists that offset the angle, return it to a neutral position and use the wing nut to secure it, followed by the nut if it came with your bolt. Aim appropriately by drawing an imaginary line from the lens to the spot you want to capture. If allowed, it's also good to clear the spots of vegetation close to the camera that constantly blows in the wind so you don't have a lot of dud photos. The cams I'm using allows me to set minutes between the captures so it's not constantly going off. It also gives me insight on approximately how long the animal hangs around between the first capture and the last. Every trail camera is different, so read the manual to get the full benefits of its features. Well, no need for you to hang around here anymore, but hey, if you're going to, then be sure to attack that like button and subscribe to the tribe before tracking down the other content on my channel. If you've worked up a beastly appetite, then check out the daughter channel, True Nature's Kitchen, where I share wild game recipes, keto, paleo, and other low carb or natural dishes. Remember, you don't have to be rich, just resourceful to live a good life. Skill sets are the best wealth and seek God and nature for good health. Stay wild, live free.